Hi, I'm Clifford Rames, and welcome to Poetry Passages. I have a poem today by Jane Kenyon. Now, Jane Kenyon lived in this house over here behind me, together with her poet husband, Donald Hall. Now, I remember, I imagine there were days when she would stand out on that front porch watching birds at the bird feeder, which is the subject of the poem I'm about to read. There are also a couple of cats involved, and then the poem takes us on this curious journey back to ancient Egypt towards the end. From Collected Poems by Jane Kenyon, the poem is called At the Feeder. First, the chickadees take their share, then fly to the bittersweet vine, where they crack open the seeds, excite it like poets opening the day's mail. And the evening grass beaks those large and prosperous finches resemble skiers with the latest equipment, bright yellow goggles on their faces. Now the blue jay comes in for a landing like a strategic air command bomber returning to Plattsburgh after a day of patrolling the ozone. Every teacup in the pantry rattles. The solid and graceful bodies of nuthatches perpetually upside down like yogis, and slate-colored juncos feeding on the ground, taking only what falls to them. The cats watch, one from the lid of the bread box, another from the piano. A third flexes its claws in sleep, dreaming, perhaps, of a chicken neck, or of being worshipped as a god at Budabastis during the 23rd dynasty. So that is At the Feeder by Jen, Jane Kenyon. And you never know what's going to happen at that feeder. Thanks so much for watching. Stay well and stay safe. And we'll see you again real soon right here on Poetry Passages. Bye.